We got a brand new season of an anime upon us. This one is called Remonster. We've checked out a couple trailers. Seems to be some kind of reincarnation story of becoming a goblin who turns into a giga chat ogre and then, you know, basically impregnates humans and they make babies. Could be fun. <laughs> Let's begin today's reaction. Something's getting stabbed a lot. So this is like outside of 7-Eleven in Tokyo. I think we this is the part where we're dying. We're about to get isekais. There's there's some yandere girl, some girlfriend that we've been ignoring that she's stabbing us. Okay, and then we turn into an ogre, oh goblin, crazy psycho ex girlfriend. What? Where'd she get that fucking sword? The fuck? Yeah, because you're going to get a new name after you get reincarnated. The plot on Earth seems pretty cool because you have like this girl that's like wants to kill you. Under the girlfriend and then the weapon, the sword, the dagger, right? That was like pretty high tech too. I wonder, it probably doesn't matter because we're going to the other world, right? Reborn to Master the Blade? No, that's not a wrong enemy. Is this Rigard? Pre named Rigard. Bald. Alright, wait. Gobro. Gobro. Yo, is anyone named Gopta in this show? I swear to God, if there's a guy named Gopta in this show. Ew! Day two! We survived! Bald ass babies. You're an ugly green baby too, bro. You're a goblin. So cute though. These baby goblins are so cute. You're gonna cry and shit your pants, little baby? Alright. Oh, damn! We're like teenager already. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. So is this basically like these like basically he's a leader of the pack. He's the first one to actually go out of the cave while all these other goblins are like, oh, he's actually leaving. Oh, oh, leader? Leader? Day four? Uh, the maggots, bro, again. Can you not get us some better fucking food, Grandpa? Why you got the fucking maggots? I guess we should be we should be happy that he's actually fucking feeding us. <laughs> Damn, we're like three or four days in, right? And if Grandpa's like, I ain't feeding you fucking baby bitches no more. Get your own goddamn food. Survive or fuck off. <laughs> is it good? I guess it is good to him. Yo, relax, chill. Golden toes. What is outside for us? Huh? Some humans to pillage? They just look like aliens to me, man, because they're bald. Ooh. Everyone else speaks kind of slow, huh? Gobkichi and we're Gobro. I guess Gobkichi is gonna be like a right hand man. Like if, if Goburo is Gopta, then Gobkichi is like Gobzo. He's like a right hand man in the goblin gang. I don't think he's a little slow because he's a little slow. I think that all the goblins here are a little slow. It's just that we're like a human that got reincarnated as a goblin with like, you know, an actual fucking intelligence. So I think that's why Gobro seems like more intelligent and can speak, communicate their thoughts properly compared to everyone else that was kind of even scared to leave the cave. Oh. No, not, not the cute rabbit. Don't do it. Go Kichi, don't do it. No. No, oh, it's so cute. This is fucked up. Should you just beat the shit out of your fucking quote unquote friend? Is he even a friend? He's just a fucking slave worker. He's like, bitch, you fucking trying to eat my food? Bad Gobkichi. 
Gold Cage is knocked the fuck out. He's done. He's dead. Yeah. Demonstration. The nature of our relationship to Gopkichi. What is the nature of a relationship? He's a fucking tool. We just slap him around. He's our fucking... We just basically let him know. You're my bitch. You're going to do what I tell you. I'm going to smack you, dude. Not a friend, huh? Okay. Appraisal. Doing that shit again like in the opening. What what the fuck is this clear white fluid, bro? Gobkichi? <laughs> is that Gobkichi? <laughs> yeah. Just <It's> saliva. <laughs> Thank you, Gobro. You beat the shit out of me with the snake, but I'll just forget it because you gave me food. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, day five. Day five. Here we go. How much bigger are we? More rabbit hunting. <laughs> They're also stupid. That must be the appraisal system, right? It must be like every time he grabs something, he can kind of visualize and contextualize what the item is. So there's gotta be its own appraisal system in this game. Is there a leveling system? What what is there? <laughs> you have learned the ability escape. Is that the same voice actor like in uh, So I'm a Spider, So What? Could you imagine if there's like the same one voice actor that does the whole, you know, AI system voice like in So I'm a Spider? Like they always, you know, recruit the same voice actor to be like the system's voice. Whoa. Okay. So the reason why Japan, before he died outside the convenience store and the girl had the knife was so futuristic is because it actually doesn't matter. Absorption, that's the ex extremely rare ESP ability I was born with back in my old world. The bro already was born on Earth with ESP, which is pretty much just like psycho, what is this? It, it's a generic term for like psychic powers, right? So he's got that on top of his goblin body now? He eats people. I have ESP powers. To put it simply, I can eat just about anything. How the fuck does that make sense? What do you? Uh, how are you gonna tell me you have psychic abilities and now you're telling me you just eat anything? How? how okay. Oh, it's fucking devour. It's it's fucking Billzebub now. Rimuto. So if you absorb anything, you eat something, you can gain the traits of whatever he eats. And that's on Earth. <laughs> It seems like any other abilities that I had. So he had other abilities on top of ESP, and he's assuming that it's been reset. Not confirmed, but it's just, he's assuming it is. Wolves. What's the uh, food chain here? Who can hunt us down? Goblina? Gobmi. Gobmi is a lot more literate than um, Gobukita. So, I'm Gobkichi. So, maybe Gobkichi just is a little special. Someone died trying to eat the fucking rabbit? <laughs> so, this is what happens back in the day. During Caveman era, basically the Riz is like, are you strong and can you provide for like your tribe, right? So if you're a hunter, if you can bring back, you know, food back or back to the tribe, you're gonna get all the bitches, right? Because like, if, if you're a goblina, who, who are you gonna want to mate with, right? Who do you want your boyfriend to be? You want fucking Gobkichi that doesn't even know what a fucking horn is? He's just fucking eating rocks, bro? No, you want the fucking goblin that has the bigger rock and can hunt, right? So it's like survival of the fittest displayed in its full essence here. <laughs> Gobu me. <laughs> You're ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come hunt with us. Hunting dates. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh? Weapons. It's like loot from humans, right? Oh, actual live human woman. Y'all said this ain't nothing like Goblin Slayer 1, Episode 1. I haven't seen Episode 1, but I've seen clips. If you look at the 
belly here. I think it's perfectly implied that old the grandpa goblin has pretty much just have had his. I don't know if it was the grandpa, but he pregnant. She pregnant. We we basically skip the initial phase of what happened in Goblin Slayer one, and then we go to the future. Is this gonna be controversial? Are people gonna are are people gonna basically be upset on Twitter over this? I don't know. We'll cover the hate farming too, but okay, we got some human slaves that are pregnant. Gee, I wonder who did it. Gobji, G Sun, GG. All these names are so fucking lazy. It's Gob something, but it's G because GG. He's the Elder Goblin. We got a fucking what menu? We got a menu? <laughs> Gobji. The ogre that we saw in the trailer. So like leech level 100. So there's like that's a pretty high cap, huh? I mean, that, I guess we can go much higher in levels, like 500, 700 or beyond, but okay. <laughs> He's in his 20s? Yeah. That's interesting, Goblin Lord. I knew faster, Bro, this is the youngest 20 year old. The most youthful 20-year-old goblin you'll ever see. That's fucking hilarious. Okay. Oh, we got we got to see some hobgoblins, huh? You meet more pregnant human slaves? That 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 laugh at the end was Gobji, what the fuck? <laughs> Gobkichi, Unga Bunga? Gobkichi, front lines. Oh, we got a team. We got a team, bro. What are these, like beavers? <laughs> they just eat that shit raw, huh? No fire. All dishes have been prepared under the supervisions of a chef. Why are you fucking disclosing that information? <laughs> oh, venom resistance. Search evil eyes. Oh, you have learned the ability. Thermography, venom, venom resistance. Search evil eye? <laughs> evil eye, probably some kind of intimidation. Some kind of like if a snake, you know, glares at you. It's like that kind of skill. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> you guys are dying. And because he ate the part that was poisonous, he gains resistance, but he also earns the skills because of his ESP ability back on Earth. <laughs> No one's gonna ask why he can eat it? <laughs> no one's gonna ask? Fine. Day 9. Sorry, skip two days. Oh, oh, bats. Eat them. Eat them, bro. Actually, don't eat the bats. Don't, don't eat the bats. You know what happened back in 2020? Don't, don't fucking eat the bats. Leave! Zawardo! No, it's paralyzed. They get paralyzed. They get paralyzed. Echolocation. Vamp up. So maybe it's gonna be sonar waves and, you know, fucking, like, uh, health regen, right? You bite blood, you eat shit. The other goblins are just starving because they can't hunt. So, like, only we can eat and everyone else is kind of just, like, has to watch behind the scenes. They're just getting cut because it's, like, survival to fit us. It's like, get your own fucking food. Why should I provide for you fucking idiots? <laughs> that's, why, that's why Gobmi was so fucking fast with it. In fact, Gob Kitchi is probably the luckiest one here because he somehow just got dragged in by, you know, Gobro to get the food first. Ooh, the moon is red. The frenzy is about to begin. The time of awakening is near. Oh? Are the goblins? Oh! These motherfucker. That's a coup. It's a fucking revolt. Goblin revolt. You're jealous because we get all the girls and all the food. Kill them all. <laughs> Gobkich is just out. He's hungry. Sorry, he's well fed. Huh? He did have like a cut here. What? What the fuck was that? Poison attacks? On the horn or? <laughs> Gobmi, our queen. 
That's our fucking main girl, bro. Let's go. But like, for sure, we're gonna get more wives, right? Like, for sure, this show is not gonna be mono like uh, monogamous, right? I I don't think goblins in nature are stuck to one wife, one husband, right? It's good. We're gonna have multiple wives because that seems to be the nature, the theme of this show. But Gobmi is wife number one, day thirteen, almost two weeks in. Oh, it's a uh, geld, big pig, Buta. Oh, we made a shield out of that beaver armor thing. Hey, hey, oh! Dude, could you imagine this? Oh, oh, the rock right at the fucking fingers, bro. The fucking bones came out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the bones are sticking out. This is so violent. The bones just sticking out of the body is like... It's very raw. Umai! Libido. What do, you, what do you mean you've learned the ability of libido? I thought that like, you know, like goblins already had such a high libido, but what, the orcs are fucking down bad too. We got the orc language, detect, analyze, cool. All right, what does libido do? <laughs> Tell me. Threshold exceeded. Okay, okay, okay. Now that the special condition, we get domination instinct, unique movement has been cleared. Evolutionary advance into very hobgoblin, the exact evolution that Gobo G was like, ah, yo, ain't none of you fucking casuals are gonna evolve to hobgoblin, but we're already gonna become one before they fucking visit Ben. Yes, yes. It's the system again. Oh, I just said yes and went back to sleep. And he's gonna wake up with hair? Is he gonna have hair now? What? Gobro has received the blessings of the Grand God of Demise and Origin. Who is the grand god of demise and origin? I guess the it's basically the god of this. Like the the god of this is giving the blessing to Gobro. The god made the system. Is 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 this a game? Again, more questions for Isekai shit, right? It's like, is this a who created the system? Is it a game? Do we have to fucking worry about it? Are there game developers, or is it just the word of the world? I can reincarnate as a slime. Who knows? Oh, he got hair. Oh, he got that. Oh, goblin cheeked up too. No more bald. Oh, level up. Ev evolved. Look at that body. But there's like a, a... He turns into an ogre apparently in the, the trailers, right? It's kind of spoilers, but I mean the fucking move. The anime poster has his fucking ogre face on it. So this is not complete though, but this is looking pretty good. We look like a fucking main character now. Wait, Gobkichi? Gobkichi evolved too? Even Gobmi is like, wow, Gobkis, you're looking nice. Why? I wonder, I wonder why Gobmi didn't evolve, but Gobkichi was pretty much a right-hand man from the beginning. And we kind of let him know, you're my bitch. So, like, if Gobro evolves, then I could understand that Gobkichi also evolved because we're, like, quote-unquote, family in that kind of sense. It's like Rimuru you know, awakening as true demon lord and giving people that's underneath them true, like, gifts immediately, right? But, so... Because we, I don't know what 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 what's the condition? Who knows? Gobmi joined a little bit later. What's Gobmi gonna evolve in? Oh my god! What is Gobmi gonna evolve into? It's the exp. It's the exp has to hit. You're right. No no no. It's 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 not just like family. No 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 no. This is all based off of exp. You're right. You're right. And Gobmi will join later. So in a day or two. <laughs> Go Gobmi is gonna evolve into a fucking Gobelina. <laughs> what's she gonna look? She gonna, she gonna look real nice. <laughs> Rank up! Yeah, we did! Oh. You, you, got, you, got, you gotta let... You, you gotta let them know who's the master and who's the servant. You gotta fucking beat him with the fucking stick again so he'll never revolt again. No? We're not gonna... Oh, here we go! It's kind of even. Oh no, he's getting hits in. More agile, more, you know, dexterous, but Gobkichi is obviously the forward kind of tank warrior role, right? All right. He still acknowledges us. Ranga. 
Yo, we gotta get the wolves now. We gotta What's hunt that? the wolves. We gotta ride the wolves. We gotta. Oh, hey, go, hey, go, me was on that. We we gotta get the wolves. We gotta tame the wolves. We gotta ride the wolves. We gotta get like you know, get, skin the wolves and get like you know, fucking wolf hide so we can get like cool you know, fucking capes and shit. Yeah, wolf fang too. Maybe wolf fang. Good maths. More rabbits. The wolves. The wolves are eating our food. Man, the running animation there was pretty bad, but they always go all out with like the eating animation, huh? The running again, it's like whatever, right? At least it's not. Is this CGI? I can't really tell. It, it, maybe it is CGI. I don't know. It, it definitely doesn't look the same, right? But like the eating animation is always like quite well fleshed. All right. It's a bunch of wrong guys. Here's Geld. Here's Geld. <laughs> no, not Geld! Leave him alone! <laughs> Look at all that shmeat on Geld. <laughs> right in the ass. Right in the wolf asshole. Cliffhanger? The black wolves. Okay. I mean, they look blue to me. You gonna eat the eyeball first? Wild hunts, hide armor, order. Cause you're like a pack wolf. So now you, she should be able to just order people around. Military leadership. Wow, Cobra, you brought more meat? Yeah, you all need to put in the fucking work. Get out in there a fucking level, you lazy motherfuckers. All right, here we go. We're gonna teach him, we're gonna raise them up. In the span of one episode, we're already like becoming like the pack leader of a tribe of fucking, you know, goblins, you know, the established hierarchy, just bring back, you know, more food. Everyone's like, oh, my lord, my lord, this is fun. Are we? Are we really? He said he wasn't back on earth, but now it's changing. Goburo! Let's go! <laughs> Still haven't seen that Gopta yet. Probably is because of order. Yeah, you're gonna become the leader of the goblins, bro. We're gonna take over the fucking world. Yeah, and then what? World domination? post credit scene? post credit scene, day 17? <laughs> Goba, fucking martial arts training. Huh? Gope me, is that you? You evolved? Did she evolve? It got bigger? <laughs> That's the episode. Listen, I thought this episode was pretty fucking good. I thought the pacing was phenomenal. We didn't spend the entire fucking episode just stuck on day one doing nothing. Goo goo gaga. It was pretty fast, right? Immediately, we saw the progression of him just waking up and he's a little baby, but goblins age fast. You gotta eat, you get more powerful. You hunt the, go you hunt the, you know, the rabbits, later the wolves. You know, we form a pack around whoever can provide the food. This whole like caveman fucking tribalistic, you know, culture is very compelling. I don't know. It's like, who's got the, who's the strongest here, right? Who's the smartest, right? Who can lead the pack and bring more food back? And, you know, Goburo has assumed the position of leader so far. Now, there's some additional stuff back on earth before he gets reincarnated like he had ESP which is kind of generic psychokinesis psychic powers but then somehow we skip that and it's like actually whatever he eats he gains the traits from that I feel like that's more important unless there's actually more telepathic shit that I'm not aware of I don't know maybe the telepathic shit has to do with the appraisal system in his head but apparently Gobji was able to kind of go like this and look at the levels is that the same shit I don't fucking know maybe this maybe the appraisal shit is specific to him who fucking knows, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this series because be ashamed to be not able to watch this on a weekly basis because so far it's looking pretty promising. Get, check it out. I mean, what, who am I telling you guys? The people that's still here, they've already checked it out. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.